Ecuador in crisis, gunmen storm TV studio amid rising violence and political turmoil. In a shocking turn of events, masked gunmen forcefully entered a live television studio in Guayaquil, Ecuador, threatening terrified staff during a broadcast by the public television channel TC. The assailants, armed with a pump-action shotgun and a revolver, forced employees to the floor before the live feed abruptly cut out. Reports indicate that the attackers left the studio with several hostages, leading to subsequent arrests by the police. The incident occurred against the backdrop of a 60-day state of emergency declared in Ecuador on Monday following the mysterious disappearance of Adolfo Macias Villamar, also known as Fido, the notorious leader of the Caneros gang. The motive behind the TV studio attack remains unclear, leaving speculation about its connection to Fido's escape from a prison in Guayaquil. Neighboring Peru has taken preventive measures, deploying a police force to its border to avoid potential instability spilling over. The United States has condemned the brazen attacks in Ecuador, expressing readiness to assist and coordinating closely with President Daniel Noboa and his government. Ecuador, a major global exporter of bananas, faces escalating violence linked to conflicts between drug cartels vying for control of cocaine routes to the US and Europe. The recent surge in violence extends beyond prison walls, with reports of riots, escapes, and other violent acts attributed to criminal gangs. During the TV station assault, the captured staff pleaded for their lives, capturing the horrifying moments of the incident. President Noboa acknowledged an internal armed conflict in the country and mobilized the armed forces for military operations against transnational organized crime, terrorist organizations, and belligerent non-state actors. The president's actions follow a series of jail riots, escapes, and acts of violence attributed to criminal gangs. The state of emergency, which includes a nightly curfew, aims to restore order after Fido's escape triggered chaos and insecurity. The decree lists the Caneros and 21 other gangs involved in criminal activities, underscoring the gravity of the situation. Security forces are working to regain control in multiple jails where riots erupted. Additionally, incidents like the kidnapping of police officers further highlight the intensifying unrest in the country. As Ecuador grapples with this wave of violence, its citizens express deep concern and shock. Residents in Quito and Cuenca describe a city in chaos, with heightened nervousness, early departures from work, and increased alarm. Observers question the security situation, emphasizing the unprecedented nature of a television station being seized by criminals on live broadcast. The country's prisons have been plagued by violent feuds among rival gangs, resulting in multiple inmate massacres. The Caneros, a powerful prison gang, have been linked to deadly riots and fights in Ecuador's jails. Fido's escape, just hours before a planned transfer, and the subsequent detention of prison guards raise questions about the government's ability to maintain order. President Noboa, who assumed office amid political turmoil following the assassination of presidential candidate and journalist Fernando Villavicencio, now faces the daunting challenge of addressing the escalating violence and ensuring the safety and security of the Ecuadorian people.